the Monquisition will be devastated by the loss of their sacred water. Maybe now they'll think twice about messing with the opposition. Yes? Yes, Captain. At your command. <laughs>
What business does a clumsy giant have in the heart of Monquista? I fear you are far too coarse in speech and dress to... Cortez, that was you? I, I, I present you his resplendency Fernando, six of that name, king of Monquista and Skull Island, overlord of Marleybone and Aquila. Take heed. And? And her transcendent sublimity Isadora, queen of Monquista and Skull Island, empress regent of Crocotopia and protector of Polaris. Take heed. We'll speak to you now. I take it that you are the captain who braved the jungles of the Isle of Doom and rescued our beloved Corte. Marvelous! Well done indeed! Not even the greatest monquistador could have done better. You are a credit to your hulking people. How glad we are to look upon your freakishly large, yet well-formed features. Your deeds shall never be forgotten. Verily, indeed. Let it be proclaimed throughout the immensity of our realm that this gangly pirate is a hero of the realm. And Gorte? He's in your custody now? Excellent. No. We would not look upon him now. No doubt he requires time to recover. Indeed! We do hereby decree that Gordeth shall be removed to Zenda, where he shall undertake a well-earned rest. Dear Captain, you have done so much for Monquista already. Might we beg one more favor? Will you deliver Gortes to Senda in your excellent ship? Do this, marvelous captain, and your efforts shall receive such thanks as fits a king's remembrance. This letter will admit you to Zenda. Our boundless thanks, dear captain. You may withdraw from our presence now. Good day.
Watch this. New prisoners go in around back. Get going. Wait, is that who I think that is? Never mind. Move along. Your kind are forbidden here, you lanky giant. Oh, you have a letter. Well then. Hmm, let me see. As befits the countenance of the realm, etc., etc., order hereby to execute Gortes for his unseemly crimes. Yes, yes. Ah, there's more. As you are our privileged servant, hmm. The crown doth hereby order the death of the pirate who bears this message? Oh dear! Let that miscreant rascal be declared an enemy of the realm to be attacked on sight without mercy. That's clear enough. Guards! Captain, release me. Free me and I shall help you win this fight. Ooh! Uh. 
You fight well, hairless one. What passed between us before is forgotten. They want me back. I am back. I tried to get out, but they pull me back in. Now this fortress is mine. Your coming is a godsend, stranger. For years I have languished in this cell, my only crime, questioning the excesses of the king and his nobles. We share the same enemies. I wonder, does that make us friends? We are the opposition. Join us and strike a blow for justice. Speak to the Lady Eleanor. Welcome, Captain, to my palace of crime. I am Eleanor, once queen of Monquista. Now, I am but one of many former queens, all of us prisoners. Only now, I am set free. It's been a long time since anyone fought back against the crown. It's time for that to change. My dear sisters-in-law have been conspiring for years. They have a plan to weaken the crown and change things, but I have no idea what it is. I propose a bargain. Contact my sisters and help with our plan, and I'll help you with your treaty. Agreed? Good. Aguilar knows where to begin. The Crown and the Holy Monquisition conspire to oppress the common folk, but we are striving to end their tyranny and build a better Monquista. You are one of us? Good. We must seek our Queen Anna. She is confined at St. Bonobos Abbey. She will know the details of the plan. The Abbey is far from your enemies in the capital. A fast ship could make it there unnoticed. Go at once, and take these messages to Prior and Reo.
Peace be upon you, traveler. Have no fear. My cloister is sympathetic to your cause. You seek Queen Anna. She's in the tower, overlooking the grounds. Gah! this creature in here forgive me captain you startled me the last thing I expected to see was a giant come with word from dear Eleanor the opposition's finally staring for too long the crown has strangled all communication between our hidden brotherhoods, leaving us blind. Queen Catherine, one of my beloved ex-sisters-in-law, has hatched a plan to splinter the noble houses, undermining the crown's power. That's all I know. There have been no messages in so long. Catherine is held in the summer palace. Abbot Remigio can tell you how to reach her. The Summer Palace is no easy place to enter, but there is a way. Tunnels under the grounds lead to a drain which opens under the cliffs nearby. Iron gates seal the drains in many places. You will need keys to pass them. You can take them from the patrol ships near the palace.
Like we're going to have to crush a crawly or two to get by. We will have to get the key off of one of the little monkeys. Halt, intruder! Holy Saint Simeon, it is the pirate! Surrender, hairless giant, in the name of his majesty! Ugh! 
Monstrosity! How dare you profane this place with your hellishness! For this affront, you will now taste Monkistan steel! Guards! The commander, he's bringing reinforcements! We're taking him out first! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Visitors? How unexpected and how marvelous. Who sent you? Ah, my dear in-laws, the outlaws. Still playing their great game, are they? You've come about the plan. Too late. There is no plan. Not now. The Holy Manquisition caught all my agents and uncovered my scheme. Checkmate. This queen has no pawns left to move. Go back and tell Eleanor that she is on her own. If Eleanor is free, then Zenda is the center of the opposition now. I cannot go with you. It would just draw the crown's attention. Good luck. One more thing before you go. I have a final chess piece. Here, a knight. I give him to you. Commander, obey this pirate as you would obey me. Of course, my queen. Captain, I pledge myself to your crew, body and soul.
Do I know you? You have set this place to rights. Though, I wonder how long this rebellion can survive. We in the Order of St. Simeon believe a seed from the Holy Banana gave rise to the tree. The Monquisition calls my faith in the banana heresy. I have heard of a debate that will be held in Puerto Mico. I fear I am too frail to make the trip. But you can deliver my proof to my brothers. Before the Monquisition came for me, I gave my copy of the Book of the Banana to Brother Tomas. He fled to La Mancha. Bring the book to me. Captain! I hope you bring us good news. Do you like what we've done to the place? Thanks to you and Cortes, the opposition now has a fortress and a mighty general. Oh, this is terrible news from Queen Catherine. I had hoped for much more. Very well. I shall make a new plan. A plan of my own. I have an idea. There is an ancient treasure, the Monkey's Paw, which will draw many noble families to our side and give us leverage over the Monquisition. I don't know where the paw is, but Mon Quixote, Lord of La Mancha, he does. You are all the fleet we have. It falls to you to go. Thank you for my freedom, human. But I fear you've left us in a bind. The crown has blockaded Zenda. We're running out of water. I have a solution if you're willing to help quench our thirst. A friend in La Mancha, Paolo, can mix up a refreshing batch of lemonade. Lemonade! That cool, refreshing drink. I'd hate to see our revolution wither from thirst. Could you go get some lemonade?
sorry, giant, but I'm fresh out of lemonade. The renegade monkeys have been stealing cargoes. Of